The Tasmanian seat of Lyons is considered one of the safest in the country. Since 1993, it's been held by Labor's Dick Adams, who once campaigned against his own party because he didn't like the leader's forestry policy. Lyons is the biggest Tasmanian electorate, stretching from the Tasman Peninsula in the south to St Helens in the far northeast. Lyons is a rural electorate without a major population centre. It's a mix of mining, forestry, fishing, farming and tourism. There are country towns and suburbs on the city fringes, all spread over 30,000 square kilometres. It's still a big job and it takes a lot of time uh, and uh, a lot of effort. But there's some wonderful people, small communities, but they're people that I grew up with. Labor's Dick Adams has held the seat for the past 17 years. Before that, it was held by the Liberals' Max Burr for 10 years. The electorate's named after Joseph Lyons, the former Tasmanian Labor Premier who went on to become Prime Minister. In his time, Dick Adams has seen four Prime Ministers come and go. The 59-year-old says the most recent change at the top won't hurt Labor's chances. I wanted to see if people had accepted Julia Gillard as, as Prime Minister and, and I'm finding that they have. The execution of a, a first term Prime Minister uh, by faceless men was, was something that a lot of Australians will, will struggle to come to grips with. Eric Hutchinson hopes that sentiment will give him the massive 8% swing he needs to win the seat for the Liberals. Before Labor's leadership change, coalition polling showed Lyons was line ball. If Lyons is ready for a change, I, change I'm up for it. And, and I'm going to give this 110% if I'm given the opportunity. The last time the Liberals got close in lines was in 2004. Dick Adams publicly opposed Labor leader Mark Latham's forestry policy, which saw John Howard swoop to claim two Tasmanian seats. I don't expect uh, any major decisions to be made during this election. Uh, and I certainly hope that no policy decisions are made on the run. Once again, the Liberals are sounding out on familiar issues. Health is always going to be high on the agenda. And the voters want to be heard. I think more health care is needed. Police and community services. All the roads are need fixing up. Shopping the roads. They're all full of potholes. Over the next four weeks, Lyons will decide which candidate and which party has listened the most. Jonathan Gould, ABC News.